Hello, all things crochet with the Barefoot Ginger. Wanted to talk a little bit about some crochet hooks because we have a couple different options. And I know when I first got started, I just went out and bought some basic hooks. There were some really expensive hooks on the market. You can go get those expensive ones, but I would recommend starting basic. And these are all ones that you can get at your favorite hobby store. So we're just gonna go through them one at a time so we can see. This one is, see if I can focus it. Well, there we go. So this one is a Susan Bates. Sorry, oh, now it went out of focus again. There we are. USJ or a six. And you can see the style of tip it has. So this is very, I call it beakish. There we go. It's very sharp here, very pointed. And this is kind of slanted in. This one is a very abrupt angle. Uh, this one is not my favorite to crochet with. I did buy this not knowing that there was another option for me to try. And that's the same with this green one here. These are both Susan Bates. This is just a different size. That black one I had was more of an er ergonomic handle, which I want to talk about that too. See, this is all one piece. See, and it has the same... Yeah, and we're gonna compare that. We're gonna co compare that one in a minute to a different one. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this. So see, this is this is a two piece. And so guess what happened when it um, when it got lots of use? This happened. So you, I can't use this anymore because I guess I could, I guess I could put some glue down that hole. But the truth is, I don't really enjoy crocheting with this one so this one is going to go in the garbage can i just wanted to use it for this to show everyone what the options were so i guess the good thing is this one does have an ergonomic handle but it's too low see i tend to hold it somewhere between that flat spot and a little bit more and maybe that's why it came apart is because i probably was putting a lot of pressure on this joint here um, when I'm crocheting, let's just, even though it's broken, let's see what it looks like. I'm starting some stuff over there. So, so let's see what it looks like when I'm crocheting because now don't forget I'm a lefty. So I go the other way. Oops. Oh my goodness. You think this is the first time I've done this? It is not. Holy socks. There we go. Okay, so let's. So it's not really splitting the yarn, but it is kind of getting hung up right there as I pull through. So let's do a couple more. See, as I pull through, it gets hung up. It's not as smooth as the other ones. So let's try this green one. This is a different size. This one is, oh, okay. So to put that into perspective, this is also, no, that's not a K. Which one is a K? I have another K here. Let's see if I can find it. That's an L. I know I have one. This is a K. Okay, so this is a K in a in a boy hook. So these are essentially supposed to be 
the same size. And they do look they they do look like they're the same size. But you can see the difference, right? Right off the jump, they might look like the same design, but this one this one has a point. This one is more rounded. This part here is very much more pointed. Um, and as we roll it around, you can see you can see the difference. I am so sorry. This is all so out of focus. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's the inherent difference. So we're gonna we're gonna see what the difference is crocheting with my favorite. So these are boys. I showed you the other one. I do like the boys. I don't like this specific one because you cannot see, even with my reading glasses on, I can I cannot see. So the name of the hook is right there. The size, excuse me, the size of the hook is right there. You can't see it. You can see it on some of the darker ones. And that's the problem I have with these. See, you have to get, there we are, an N. That one's easy to see because it's dark purple. This one is easy to see because it's teal. There we are. But then this one. Where's this one? It's right there. Again. Hard to see. I don't like having to find... I think that's an L. I don't I don't like having to find what one I need. It's it's too hard. So why did they emboss them in white? I don't understand that. Yeah. They're hard to see. They're super hard to see. And the second kind we have, this is I don't know if this is also a boy. It's not marked on the back, but it's the same style as a boy. It does have a slightly bigger opening here because this is designed for bulky yarn. I'm not a huge fan of bulky yarn. I'm going to do some projects and see if I can get okay with it. There we go. See, that's a, that's a US N. So it's the same as this one. So these are the same. So see, the differences are this one is solid. This one is two piece. This one is very heavy. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can appreciate how heavy this is. It's 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 just heavy. So as you're holding it and you're crocheting, you're going to get hand fatigue. This one is very light. This one is plastic. And this one is all probably just hollow if I had to guess. So these are nice to use. I have I have several different sizes of these. So see there's a different size. And there's a different size. I think this size is a six. Yeah. So this is an I. Um, so this is this is a little bit bigger than I crochet with on the daily. Most of what I crochet with is an H or a J. So he, uh, now I'm going to show you my two favorites. Now I've showed you some of the ones I don't like. I'm going to show you my two favorites. Basically, they're just the stainless steel boy hooks. One piece, easy peasy, easy to hold. You can you can hold them closer to the I don't know the shaft, the throat. I don't know what it's called. They're easy. They pull they pull through easily. Let's do a test to see. What the difference is so this one I just crochet see there's no lag I like I like crocheting with these ones much easier I have never used some of those expensive ones but um, maybe I will someday I I enjoy using these I don't see the need see let's do a half double so that's the yarn, not the crochet hook. So yeah, these are these two. This is a J, and the gold one is the one that I use most often. It's just your standard hook size, 
an H or a five millimeter. So yeah, I, ne I never worry if the yarn splits, it's because the yarn was made badly, not because my tool, you know, one of the, one of the things I was always taught growing up was use the right tool for the job and see how, see how pretty that is. And if I were to go all the way down and I wasn't filming, it would only take me a minute or so. Anyway, using the right tools for the right job is super important, whether it's a hammer, a knitting needle, or a crochet hook. So when you go to the store and you're picking out your first crochet hooks, I want you to look for sleekness, polished round edges. The sharp edges sometimes come with the cheaper products. They don't have a good polish on them. The plastic ones sometimes are hard to get polished to a good sheen enough that they don't, that they glide over the yarn. That's really what you want. And I wish there was a way to test drive crochet hooks. So let's just see if it glides. It does not glide. It gets stuck. But it, part of it could be it's the wrong size yarn. So the bigger the yarn, the bigger the hook. So this is a smaller yarn, so this is not the right hook. But it's not doing a bad job. It's just the hook is just the wrong size. And you, you can see the difference in crochet. Right, can you see that? How these are bigger stitches. So you could use this hook for this yarn if you wanted to. You're just going to have bigger stitches and it might be slightly more cumbersome. For example, um, it might be slightly more cumbersome to pull the yarn through and keep your tension on each stitch proper. And that's really the key is you want each stitch to be the same size. So when you choose a hook size, make a test swatch, crochet five or ten rows with the hook. See how I'm struggling? to just get that in there and um, execute a proper half double crochet. This would drive me nuts. I would pick this out and I would get a smaller hook or I would get a bulkier yarn. This would be good for, um, let's see, we have, we have some bulky yarn here. So the bulky yarn that this would be good for, bear with me while I get some out. Um, would be something like this. So see the difference? You've got this yarn versus this yarn. Um, oh yeah, so this yarn would probably even do best with one of the bigger ones. I'm gonna try my, I'm gonna try this one. Now let's see, let's see how this goes because like I said, I'm not a huge fan. Okay, so we've got, we've got it on our hook. And this is old yarn. This yarn we found at a thrift store in a small town here in Idaho. So, um, and you can just see the difference in chain size, just the inherent difference. And I should use this. I should make some projects with this. I'm pretty sure I know what yarn this is, but I'm not gonna say because it doesn't have a band on it. It's just a remnant, you know? So this one is easy. Th th this one is nice. I, I do like, for the bigger yarn, I do like this nice fat. This is an N. Um, I do like it. The problem is, you guys, when I crochet your, um, the symbol is gonna be upside down because I'm a Southpaw. So just keep that in mind that my stuff is exactly backwards. As they say in left-handed circles, we're the only ones in our right minds. So I just wanted to do a really quick one. I know this is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I kind of went down the rabbit hole of 
testing crochet hooks, but I, but I want people to be prepared. I grew up in a family of crocheters, but nobody, nobody took me to the store to teach me these. See, I'm just, I'm just bunging it up. So I'm going to stop. Um, nobody taught me these things. And so I kind of have had to figure it out on my own. And so I wanted to just kind of pop on, see, there's, there's the difference. I wanted to pop on. You can see. So anyway, I, I just wanted to pop on for a few minutes and talk briefly about how to set yourself up for success in the crochet hook department. If you're unsure, start with a standard size. It shows on the ball band. Here's a project I just, here's a ball band from one I just finished, a skein band. So when you buy a skein, it's going to, each skein is going to have its own brand band on it. And it's going to say things like the name of the brand, what yarn it is. It's also going to say right here. This is the information you want. Before you ever buy a hook, I want you to flip it over and find this information. These are knitting needles. So this is a knitting needle. So it's going to tell you the size of the knitting needle. And you'll know because there's always two knitting needles or a circle. I don't knit, but um, th this is the crochet hook. And it's going to tell you the U.S. size, size H, 5 millimeter. I'm not sure what that is. And this is the weight of the yarn. So this means how heavy or how light the yarn is. The higher the number, the heavier the yarn. This is a medium and a five, which is this one right here. This is the H. It's not the other one I had, but this is still an H, this one here. So this one here, these are, these are both H's and I, and I've used them both. They're both boys. One is an ergonomic, one is a stainless steel. These are H's. So these are the most common ones that you're going to use. You can use them for threes and fours. Any three or four will, um, will be good to default to, a, to an H. So if you're only going to buy a couple hooks, buy an H and a J. You can buy them separately and a J. Those will get you started. And then as you get more confident and as you understand how the yarn feels and what the project is, and as you're working up the project, you know, you can say, okay, the, the stitch is too loose, the stitch is too tight, I don't like this hook, I can go up a notch. But this is gonna get you started. The weight and the size hook, always look on the ball band. Always, always, always. If you're not sure, pop on a YouTube video, or if you know somebody who crochets, also you can ask an associate at the store. They almost always will at least have a basic understanding. They might not crochet, but they will know what this four means. They will know that a four is a medium and what size hook it is, and they will be able to show you the variety of hooks they have. I keep all of my hooks in this handy dandy, um, locking little, tote. It's kind of long, but it does fit. It matches this one that we've seen before that I keep all of my tools in. This one is really handy because it goes in my bag. This one could go in my bag, but I usually don't take this many hooks. I usually pull one hook out and this is what I put in my bag when I go out while I'm crocheting. So drop any questions you have in the comments below. Any questions, any thoughts, anything that has worked for you, which hook you like best, um, questions that I can help you get started. I'm going to plan a trip um, and do like a yarn and a hook review at one of our stores coming up. So look forward to that. I'm also working on a couple things. This is a headband that I'm going to be making into a tutorial. It might actually look really good with this. This would be so cozy. I think this is Lion Brand Wool Ease, but I'm not 100% sure. 
but I've not used this before. Like I said, this was a remnant found in a grab bag. Uh, so I think I might, I might buy a scan of this and just practice with it. So look for a tutorial with me reviewing a skein of this on a headband. All right, guys, good luck with your shopping. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. More to come from the Barefoot Ginger. All right, signing out.